This lesson is on place value patterns. We're going to be looking at patterns in place value that are, have to do with the number 10. So patterns of 10. So here I've got some place value blocks showing the number 6. So I'm going to fill in 6 in my place value chart in the ones place. So let's multiply 6 times 10. So I can count by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 to find out that 6 times 10 equals 60. So I'm going to put 60 in the next row of my place value chart. And I can show 60 with place value blocks as well. So I'm going to draw six long rods for my tens for the place value blocks. I can write some different sentences to explain the relationship between 6 and 60. So I can say that 60 is 10 times greater than 6 because 6 times 10 is 60. I can also say 60 is 10 times as much as 6. Again, because 6 times 10 is 60. Another sentence that I could write using those two numbers is I can say that 6 is 1 tenth of 60. 1 tenth of means that if we divide 60 by 10, then it equals 6. So 60 divided by 10 equals 6. So 6 is 1 tenth of 60. So whenever you see that phrase, 1 tenth of, you know that means that you're taking your larger number and dividing it by 10. Now let's multiply 60 by 10. So 60 times 10 equals 600. Each time we multiply a number by 10, we move the number to the left on our place value chart. And to do that, we add a zero. So you can see here, we added a zero here and another zero here. Each time we divide by 10, we move the number to the right on our place value chart. So here is a an image that you can use to help you remember. When we move to the left, we're doing times 10. And when we move to the right, we're dividing by 10. So let's do a couple other examples. If I have the number 400 and I want to multiply 400 times 10, I can put 400 in my place value chart. And if I'm going to multiply by 10, then I need to move everything to the left one place. So the 4 is going to come over, the 0 is going to come over, the 0 is going to come over. So I've shifted everything over one place to the left, and then I need to add a 0 to the 1's place. So 400 times 10 equals 4,000. So when we're multiplying by 10, as we move everything over to the left, we have to add a 0. So times 10 means you add a 0. If I want to divide 5,000 divided by 10, Let's start by putting it in our place value chart. When we're dividing, we're moving everything one place to the right for dividing by 10. So the 5 is going to move over. The 0 is going to move over. That 0 is going to move over. And I have to take away one zero. So 5,000 divided by 10 is 500. So when we're dividing by 10, we're moving everything to the right, and we're going to take away a zero. So 
So those are the patterns of 10 and our place value.